Unify TV got a new update, yes, we all know, and it sucks. But don't you even worry because I, Dan, hey, nice to meet you, gonna show you guys how to fix the problem, how to get back the my application place. Yes, I know, I know, surprise, surprise. Yes, I found the solution, and yeah, a lot of you guys really want me to upload the tutorial, so here I am. This is fucking good. This is good, okay. I'm hungry, sorry. So anyway, yeah, last, uh, last video, I've uploaded a review about um, the Unify TV new update and a lot of people hate it and I told you guys that I found this solution on how to fix it and I told you guys to comment and vote if I really should upload the tutorial and a lot of you guys really want it so yeah here it is and like seriously you guys are crazy man like seriously I just uploaded the video like two days ago and it only got like 200 views and yeah, that is just crazy. And um, likes, like I got like 21 likes. That's very quick. I don't, don't know about you guys, but to me, that's very quick because I don't always get that kind of views that quick. So before I'm gonna start the tutorial, um, if you guys want to know more about me and also more updates about my channel, then you guys can go check out my Instagram because I usually post my photos and some updates about my channel in the in there. So yeah so make sure you check out my instagram um link gonna be on the description below so yeah make sure you guys go check it out so enough of dramatic and talking without further ado let's start the tutorial so first of all what you need is a keyboard any keyboard is work um an old keyboard a new keyboard everything as long as it supports windows then yeah, it will work so also the second thing is a mouse right not not the real mouse that mouse for computers so yeah that mouse okay <laughs> so you need these two things if you don't have it then you can't do it okay it won't work yeah you will need a keyboard and a mouse true story if you don't have it just go borrow some of your friends or just go buy it like buy a cheap one as long as it supports windows that that is gonna work so if you don't know how to connect your keyboard and mouse to your unified tv then it's very simple and quick so yeah let's go so as you can see right here i got my keyboard and my mouse and it is just very simple to connect these two things into your unified tv so the first thing of course you'll need your unified tv box so this box right here, it have two USB plugins. So one is at the right, and another one is at the back, right there. So I'm gonna plug in my keyboard first, um, right here. Just take the cable and just plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it at the back. You can also plug in at anywhere you want. It is is the same. Um, so I'm gonna plug it in. It is so hard to use this one hand. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay, got, got the keyboard. And now I'm gonna plug in my wireless mouse. Um, you can also use your cable mouse, of course. But I just don't really have it right now. So I'm gonna use this wireless mouse right here. So just gonna plug it in at the right. And there we go. It is that simple. So as you can see right here, um, now you can use your mouse and to make sure your keyboard is connected, you can see at the bottom right here, there's like a, an alphabet right here. Yeah, that means that your keyboard is connected to the Unify TV. So yeah. So um, the important thing is to enable Wi-Fi in your Unify TV. Um, just go to settings and yeah, go enable Wi-Fi there. Make sure you connect it and after you connect, then yeah, you're ready. Let's let's start the tutorial, shall we? So after you have connected, now what you need to do is to go and take your keyboard and then just press the Windows button. In the same time, press the B button. <laughs> um, so yeah, just press Windows 
and B button in the same time because that will open up uh, the shortcut to your default browser so yeah I know crazy am I right anyway after you open up your browser now what you need to do is go and search for a TV launcher so first of all make sure you check the app Android version because Unified TV Android version is KitKat version so yeah I know it's pretty old so yeah it's kinda sucks <laughs> because I don't know why the Android version is so old so yeah so make sure if the app is suitable for the Android um, KitKat if it's not then you can't really download it so yeah but right here I have uh, I found a TV launcher that's suitable for the Android version so yeah make sure you go to Google and search for TV launcher APK so right there um, you can see at the first APK peer click it so when you open it up um, you just go and click the download button and as you can see it will say does not support to download so you know just click ok you know fine fine so what you need to do is to take your mouse and hold left click on the click here place the click here button right there the click here place right there okay so just hold left click and then you can see it will highlight it so now what you need to do is just go and click save link so after you have saved the link now what you need to do is go and press new tab as you can see at the top right there press new tab and then don't click anything okay don't move your mouse do not click anything just leave it like that and then go to your keyboard and press ctrl and j in the same time so now if you do that then you will show out the download please so just click on the apk that you just download and just install it it's very simple as you can see uh, so i already installed the tv launcher so i don't really need to install it again so yeah after you've installed it now as you can see um go to your remote take your remote and press the home button and as you can see it will show up these two things these two launchers so the first one is the normal launcher the unified unified tv launcher but the second one is the TV launcher, so make sure you go choose that one, double click it and as you can see now, it will open up the launcher and also when you open up, when you choose the launcher, do not press always okay, just press for once, okay, do not press always or else it will forever use the launcher and you do not want that to happen, so yeah so as you can see uh, if it's the first time you install it, then it will look empty. So what you need to do is just go at the your apps. Okay, just press the plus button right here, and then yeah, just choose your apps. So yeah, as you can see, all your apps is not gone. Okay, it's just hidden somewhere. So it is that simple. <laughs> yeah, I know. Surprise! What you need is just a keyboard and mouse, and you can do anything that you want. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's all and. Now you can download apps, you can watch movies for free now and just like um, just like before the new update. <laughs> so yeah, it's that simple and I think that's all for this video guys. That's all the tutorial is very simple and easy and yeah. Again, I don't know if Unified TV actually gave us download any apps through their devices so I still don't know. But since a lot of you guys really want me to show you guys the tutorial, that's why I am doing this video. So yeah, and also yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me. You know, I just want to say thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So yeah. Anyway, enough of dramatic. So I guess that's all for this video. Hope you guys like it. And if you guys like it, then please click the like button. And also, if you guys need any help, you guys can go comment on this video or DM me in Instagram. So yeah. So if you guys want more videos from my channel, then I'm about to click that subscribe button. I'll be truly appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Barry's the best.
great and cake shop ever. <laughs> love you, man. <laughs>